Now, the Suez Canal happens to be one of the world's busiest waterways. It's been a significant portal between the East and the West. In fact, the canal is the bedrock of global trade. And that's why the blockade created by the massive container is bringing volumes of global trade to a grinding halt. Our next report tells you all about the significance of this canal. Take a look. What happens when one of the busiest waterways in the world is locked in a traffic jam? What happens when a quarter mile long container ship lodges itself in a vital trade artery? And what happens when 200 vessels carrying goods from two ends of the world are stuck? In one word, mayhem. Maritime traffic into the Suez Canal came to a halt. This when a 400 meter ship ran aground. That too diagonally across the canal single lane stretch. And now vessels and tanks from either end cannot move. The Ever Given, a 224,000 ton vessel ran aground after a huge sandstorm caused poor visibility. A massive operation is underway to free up the crucial trade route. As a result, shipping delays are expected. After all, this trade route connects Asia to Europe. Everything from crude oil to other goods are transported in big containers. About one-tenth of global trade passes through the Suez Canal. Over 150 years old and 193 kilometers long, the waterway has been modernized and expanded to accommodate heavy traffic. Inaugurated in November 1869, the Suez Canal is valuable because of its location. It is the only route which directly connects the waters of Europe with the Arabian Sea, the Indian Ocean and the countries of the Asia-Pacific. If it wasn't for the Suez Canal, shipments would have to traverse the entire African continent. This would translate to huge delays and hefty costs. One reason why this current blockage is raising global alarm. Egypt nationalized the canal in 1956. The country established the state-owned Suez Canal Authority in charge of the waterway. The canal has been a casualty of war too. Damaged in fighting between Egypt, other Arab countries and Israel, it remained closed after the 1973 Yom Kippur War. But the canal was reopened in June of 1975. So what happens now? Well, the solution is not simple. Dislodging the mammoth ever given could take from days to weeks. This will create trade jams and shortages across the world. From crude oil and refined products to finished goods like electronics and toys. Everything will be stuck until the Suez jam clears up. Bureau Report, We On, World is One. We On, World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.